Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Travel with the Stars. Hey, we're back for, um, I guess, like episode three of our series on Mediterranean cruising because let's be real, we think everybody should go to the Med and we want to be your resource for all things Med cruises. So welcome back with me, Heather, Susan, and Casey. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey. So... Friends, today we are talking. We are we are switching coasts, right? We were talking about Greece. We love Mykonos, but we also love Italy. And um, Italy is going to have a big year next year with the Pope's Jubilee and everything. It's a lot going on. So now is the time to book your pre and post accommodations. Uh -huh. FYI, if you are going, like literally now, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> But also, that said, it's a great way to see Italy and not have, you know, and have your own floating hotel room, which is just glorious. Mm. But today we're talking about Naples. Naples. And that actually encompasses rather a large area. So does anyone want to talk about, let's see, Casey, I'll start with you. Tell our, our lovely audience. Okay, you, they think of Naples, they probably think of pizza, right? But they, they they might think of Pompeii. But there's not just that, right? Like, what all does the Port of Naples encompass? So we actually had two port days there uh, because we had an extended cruise. And the first time that we stopped there, we chose to go do with the Amalfi Coast, which I've also booked for clients ah. to go straight there. And when you say Amalfi Coast, all I can think of is lemons. Smelling mm. lemons everywhere mm. and eating, of course, wonderful ice cream. So um, it was so it was, it was, it was awesome. As you can see in my background, it was very colorful, um, lots of kind of mountainous areas. Um, the water was beautiful and it was blue. Mm. And um, they had cobblestone steps. So it's not an easy place just to kind of walk through. And right. it's one of those places I'm not sure I'd ever want to drive, to be honest with you, because the, I, the streets I are wouldn't. so narrow. <laughs> And the motorcycles are everywhere. So, um, but walking around was just, it was just beautiful. So beautiful. So I really oh. enjoyed the Moffy Coast and definitely add it to your places to go when you go to Naples. Absolutely. Um, I know one of my friends who was on the cruise with me, um, I guess I should, she's an acquaintance. Like I know her from another agency. She's amazing. Um, and she, I ran into her. And she's like, yeah, we did a private Amalfi Coast. And they also went into Sorrento mm -hmm. and Positano for the day. Mm -hmm. So yep. like did a lot of shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that yeah. is an option on mm -hmm. a lot of the Naples uh, port days. So take advantage of that classic. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's just that classic like up in the my clear. mom said yeah, yeah, was, yeah my mom does yeah sorry i don't know which way i was yeah. my mom does post uh, puzzles and she's like i've done oh. the amalfi coast puzzle and so we had to go we went to all those places you just said raffaello um Positano, um uh sorrento and all those places trying to find this exact scene because oh. that's the scene from her her and from it was the her last puzzle. place so um mm -hmm. it was great to be able to say like this is our puzzle so we <laughs> found this little piece. It was fun. I love it. So, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's one amazing thing that you can do at the Port of Naples. Don't discount that. Susan, what did you do at the Port of Naples? I think it's the same thing as me, but I'm I'm not sure. So Yeah, we did Pompeii. So this was my first time to Naples, and I couldn't imagine going here and not going to Pompeii. So we mm. spent the majority of our day doing a tour in Pompeii and exploring that area. Um, next time we'll try <laughs> or Sorrento or something, but this was our focus this time was hitting Pompeii. Yeah, absolutely. And Heather, you did the same. Yes. Yes. And I don't know, Jen, if you're a tour, our stopped in Positano for a little bit. We did one of those, um, shell carving tour things oh, where they take one shit. of the seashells and then they carve um oh. like little designs into them and they make like cameos or like necklaces mm -hmm. and things like that so that oh. was part of our tour before we Amazing. went to pompeii so it was really cool to see that and they talked about it and then whenever you were we were driving to pompeii just hearing them talk about the history of like when vesuvius like 
completely engulf the town. And the fact that they have, I, I was fascinated. I was like, why do these people still live here? Like why they know that it's active and it can like blow. The smoke still comes out of it. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Like, what? Yes. He was telling us that they have like, I don't, I don't I'm going to say like seismographic, but that's not it. That's like earthquakes or whatever. But they have something that monitors it, right? 24 yeah. seven. And the entire town has like these emergency days where they like set it up to say like, okay, we're having a drill. Pretend it's erupting. How are you getting out? And I was like, oh my gosh. But still these people have these, like these homes on it. And they're just like, well, they know that they monitor it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like it's, it's fascinating. And when it is fascinating. You, did you ladies like go out before you were coming into the port to see it like on the water, like when you were coming yes. in? Yes. Yeah. And I was like, is that it? Because I didn't know if it was it. And then I was just like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, that is it. And then the closer that we got to it, I was like, mm -hmm. it's it's amazing. But yes, we spent the rest of the day in Pompeii and we had some gelato there. And then we only had a I want to say our tour was four hours in Pompeii. So then we got mm -hmm. to come back to Naples and we got to do some eating and some shopping. Yeah. And what I love about that port is it's like right across the street. You After you get off the ship, you can just oh, like yeah, go right, right across the street and start exploring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Into like Old Town. And there was like, it looked like a castle um, in, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Naples. And what is it? Do you guys remember what they said it was? Now I'm like blanking no. on what it was. I feel like it was like a fort or something. I don't remember. Yeah, it was oh. really, really. Well, it was really pretty. Like I can yes. say that it was really yes. cool. My picture is also from outside of Pompeii. It's actually from outside, I should say, of Pompeii, not in Pompeii. Because once you're in Pompeii, it is. I mean, it's ruins. Like it's mm -hmm. it's. <laughs> I think that was one of the most sobering things mm -hmm. was like walking through and going like, oh my gosh, this place was, first of all, it was amazing. Like you can see some of the frescoes, you can see some of mm -hmm. the like carvings. Uh, and then did you guys see the glasses? Like they have the glasses that you can put on. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so you can like. It shows you what it looked like. Right? Yeah. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Yeah, it was cool because like you would like be standing there and first you're seeing the ruins and then you put on the glasses and you hit a button and like whatever it did would trigger and it would you would start looking around and it would transform it into what their renderings of like, okay, this is probably pretty close to what it looked like. Yeah, that's So awesome. that was, which yeah, was really cool. cool. Yeah. And the thing is like, so we all probably saw something different because I know me and oh, Jen yeah. were comparing stories. But and we are were on the same yes, tour. We were on the same sh ship, yeah. same tour, ship, whatever. Yeah. Um, they're constantly excavating like something new yeah. all the time because we got really excited that they were like, oh, the blue room is open. And I was like, oh my gosh, are we going to get to see the new blue room? We didn't. But then we were going under to see the the spa, Jen. The spa, yes. Like, I got to see the spa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was like, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's like stunning. But the, to think that like this whole thing that they have like mm -hmm. dug up, that it just completely, it's, it's fascinating to see. I highly recommend it yeah. if it's the first time ever. But as Susan if it's says, your first time, if it's your first time, when I go back, I'm like going to Capri. I'm like, I'm going yeah. to Capri. Oh, Capri. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the thing is like, because Brady's like, I thought you said you were seeing Amalfi because there was a tour that like could have been available, like sometimes was available where you would go boat. It was like a big, like all day, like Amalfi and like Sorrento Positano and Pompeii. And I was like, oh, that's the one I want. But I don't know if it was like, because our port time was too short or mm. what, but I didn't get to do that one. And because that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I could have done it private. I should have just done it private, but I was, I was, I was busy. Um, I didn't, I didn't get, get to my own travels. It's fine. But yeah, like, I think the thing that was so surprising to me was that people do still live in the shadow of Pompeii. Oh, by the way, I did mean, mean to say that too, is the other thing that I know, um, Katie, who was on our initial episode had said is she has been to the, her Herculaneum, mm -hmm. mm. which is Herculaneum. the lesser known Pompeii. Right. Yeah. Mm, yes. Wow. It's the lesser known. And even better, 
preserved. Well preserved, yeah. Mm. It's even okay. more well preserved. So food for thought for your next one, if they have that or if you can schedule a tour, that's something else. Since Casey's been, she had double port days in Naples. <laughs> we all live like I loved it. Everywhere. I it was it's yeah. and, well the best thing about it is that when um Obviously, not everyone's cruise is going to hit double days like that because you're not going to, not yeah, everybody's right. going to spend 14 days on a cruise. But people who actually go are going to Rome and want to do, you know, those little side trips to Naples, yeah. um, it's it's enough where you could actually go spend the night and have two full days there mm -hmm. and kind and not feel oh, rushed yeah. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. start, and be able to kind of get to everything. Um, I I loved Pompeii as well. I just um, I was amazed at. We went to the new area, well, new, I don't know. They opened it supposedly a month ago, this new excavation area that um, you could hear, you could still see the mosaics on the walls mm -hmm. that they were finding. Yes. And like one of the cool things, they were like these huge jars that were just like tilted over to the side. And I was like, oh, do they, they're like, no, they were drying when it erupted and it's, and it stopped. And like, that's the, that's the way it was. They haven't mm -hmm. moved the jars to make it look all set up or anything. It literally is oh that's the way it was drying in this little angle. So I mean, it. I don't know. I was. Just, I think. I think I was just surprised at how many colors there were everywhere mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. how rich some areas were because of the mosaic tiles yeah. that they chose to use and the patterns. I don't know why. I just thought it would be stone. Stone, yeah. all boring mm -hmm. bulls. Yes. Stone, mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and it was just. It wasn't. I mean, yeah. I would have thought of spots. Hot I know. and cold in lockers. Mm -hmm. like, lockers. Just, I don't know. I just, the things that they thought about <gasps> um, in some of those other areas, I'm not going to mention, mm -hmm. but oh, in the signals yeah. and all that stuff. And House of Ill like, Repute. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I was just floored going, this is so much more advanced um, culture than I was expecting it to be. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, I, and I need to go back to and see more. There yeah. was a guy in our tour. He was like, I, I want to say like two people maybe behind me. I felt like the entire time when we were going through like some of those yeah. fresco areas and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I've never taken so many pictures on my phone in my life. I didn't expect <laughs> it to look like this. <laughs> I just busted out laughing. And I was like, and when you get home, you're not going to remember what they were. <laughs> right, exactly. But it's true. Like you're walking down like this is like an actual main street. Like I could be mm -hmm. walking down, I mean, where I live, like main street Zilly. Like mm -hmm. I'm like with the shops and like, Oh, this was a bakery. How they could tell it was a bakery. Like, cause I guess the kilns, I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the <laughs> ovens are there. I mean, you can yeah. see where they would have baked. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and like, like whenever you were those and what I want to say, those hired up stones, like to help the people like get across the street. And then when mm -hmm. we went down further, yes. he was like, and if you had someone in a wheelchair, you would go further down here. And then he walks us down. And I'm like, they, oh, they even had like wheelchair, wheelchair access. Like <laughs> what? Like what? It was, I was very surprised of how much, I guess like I thought it was going to be something different. And while it hit mm -hmm. the expectations, I was like, so surprised of everything that Same. I saw and learned there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and check, yeah. Oh, my dream came true on that, on that tour. <laughs> I want to do two things in life before I die. And it is to wave a Mickey <laughs> hand. It is to wave a Mickey hand <laughs> in magic kingdom when I am like 80 and just tell people to have a magical day until I die. Okay. My other goal when I retire is to be the tour guide that holds the sign. Okay. Well, I just, it's all I wanted to do. And our <laughs> guide, Pepe, power. I, oh, it was like, it was, it was perfect. He was like trying to get our group because our group was really big. And I was just standing there just like waiting. And he was like, here, can you hold this and guide? And I was like, yes. And I was, <laughs> and I was like, and everybody in our group started laughing. And I was like, this is my dream. Like, <laughs> And I was like, oh, oh, oh. God, and the whole, everybody threw the entry away. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> I was holding a Disney paddle. <laughs> it was magical. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, mm. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Paddle of Power. This thing oh. called on Adventures by Disney, Paddle of Power. <laughs>
he even laughed at me like oh my gosh like i didn't think like i didn't know it was gonna make you that yeah but a good tour guide can make all the difference there too and they can really like bring Mm -hmm. the history to life Mm -hmm. and just Mm -hmm. yeah i mean a a fair warning i mean it should be trigger warning there are um there is a room where you're gonna walk into and you will see the it's the cast of um Mm -hmm. of a dead person Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the the skeletons Mm -hmm. in the museum but yeah it's it's a lot yeah it's very oh, and it, right there. There's, yes. And then mm-hmm. there is a little market outside um, where you can get pizza. You can get, you know, like sodas or whatnot and little tchotchkes. Um, if, you have I've children, never, if you have children, you might want to <laughs> monitor. Avert their eyes. Uh, avert <laughs> their eyes there. I never saw so many. Um, I don't know what that is one delicately say. Um, <laughs> uh uh interestingly shaped keychains and mm-hmm. bottle openers in my life yep. um mm-hmm. and playing cards so so just mm-hmm. you know fair warning mm-hmm. <laughs> that, that is, yes <laughs> it's um oh oh yeah <laughs> yep yep I right out, right like, out there i was like is that and brady's like yep yep I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just so yeah fair warning on that one uh, one thing we have not touched on, though, and Heather, I know you and I have to talk about this because we talked about it. We texted about the pizza. Oh, my gosh. It is the best pizza mm. I've ever had in my life. It is. I, I, I can't explain it. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. And everybody said it was going to be good. But I was like, what? Yeah. Like, what? What is this? Why don't we have this? Like, where do you go wrong, America? <laughs> Right, the closest I got is Via Napoli, which I mean is very good pizza. Yes, but yeah, like America, what are you doing with your pizza? What's going on? Okay, but tell us about it. What's special? What? what yeah, makes- right. Well, here's I just eat gelato all day long. That's all oh, I yes. ever eat. Okay. I mean, so well, I mean that's gelato. delicious. Also, like, I'm, yes. I'm not throwing shade on that. So. Here's one good thing choice. that I will tell you: if you have a gluten intolerance or you have any kind of any digestive intolerance, no one is having any kind of issues with uh-huh. whatever bread you are eating over there and their pizza or anything, because they don't use all of the preservatives that we use, and everything so is fresh. just made fresh. Like it's just, it's I, it's like this airy and like mm-hmm. it's like a so sweet- like a little bit crispy sweet crisp <laughs> I, it's also a little chewy <laughs> it is chewy it, just it's a little chewy. bit but like it's the perfect just, amount of char on the like crust the like the perfectly perfect cooked dough yeah. <laughs> like the dough like it's not doughy but it's not like a crispy but it's got like a little bit of like that that char it, it, you like, eat the crust oh here my gosh. here how you many eat all times the crust? You, how many how many times are you do you order a pizza and you're just like oh screw it I'm not eating the crust <laughs> you're you're like stealing the crust from like people next to you like, <laughs> I could take like I would take the crust like and dip it in like olive oil literally oh just that oh, it was yeah. so good and then the like the flavor of the tomatoes just like pops it's like a the pop sauce. fresh I can't I don't want to say sweet but like that's what it's I not want to sweet say. It's, it's not sweet like a, it's like a tomato from heaven <laughs> yes like a little tangy but like but like a sweet tangy yes like so- did they talk to y'all about the tomatoes it, it's, it's a special tomato that they do use i learned this on our oh really? i don't think no yes. i did so, not hear this um, yeah so the mountain area produces cows sheep's goats for cheese and the carbine tomato and also oh. huge lemon so they have a very different tomato there than we have because that has to be that, and that makes sense. So yes, yeah, the, we the sauce. I mean, just like the sauce, like all it needed. We just got the margarita pizza. It yes. was sauce, cheese, and a little bit of basil. That's it. That mm. perfection. Um, it was. It was. Perfect. It was the greatest thing ever. Yeah, like Brady was like pizza. I was like, yep, yep, <laughs> on it. <laughs> it's just, uh. and like you're not bloated afterward. That's no, the thing. that's it's what like I mean. crazy. Like, I, 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 I can eat there all, all day. I mean, I, I, like if I could I move to it. a country for food, 
Oh, I would Italy. move to Italy for mm-hmm. food, a hundred percent. But I'd have to jump over to Greece a little bit as well. Yes, a little. Yeah, for, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. With and like the, I'd weekend in Greece, the and then... nightlife, <laughs> and the happy people. Perfect. Oh, Greece all day, but uh, all day long. Just, say yeah. you had to sign up to eat somewhere for the rest of your life. The for the rest of your really. life. Oh. Yes, I would eat in Italy every day of my life. It was so good. It was so good. I mean, and they have every flavor gelato like I that we of. have never heard of. I that's know. like sounds insane, and you taste it, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. this is the okay." What flavors did you all have? What flavors? Oh lemon. Oh Hold on. Of course, that? lemon. But yeah, I, love lemon. I have to remember the specific Speaking name of it. Yes. Orange. I love that she orange, has a- orange. Oh. I do have my arancheada. <laughs> yeah. No, it was like my mom and I kept going. It was not burnt orange. It was. Uh, we actually had it in oh. Rome first, right next to our hotel. Blood, blood. Orange. Oh, blood oh. orange. Oh. And so we would, and it just was like a deeper flavor of orange, and no mm. one else had it. But in the Amalfi because I did take the lemon, of course, because that's oh. what I felt well, like. I mean, that's- you're smelling it. You're you're buying it for other people. You're That's wearing you it. Do. Yeah. You, yeah. You have to eat that one. And it was amazing. <gasps> oh, we tried a ton of different flavors. Every time we saw one, we would try one. We got everything from like strawberry cheesecake to like toasted pistachio to yeah. there was some, I, one I couldn't, one I couldn't pronounce. Stracciatella? It was that it. Is it the one that's the caramel? stracciatella? Oh no. No. Kylie ate one that was like Nutella mixed with like this um, flaky, I don't know, and it was to die for. But then I couldn't, I don't remember what it was called. And this caramel one, I was like, oh, give it to me like in a vat, like just uh, bump it into me. I, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously everybody needs to go to Naples now, or just Italy in general because like we're talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and a this- poor day is again it's enough to get a taste um literally and figuratively mm-hmm. of <laughs> of of italy but it's gonna leave you wanting more like i can't wait to go back on another cruise or just you know on land mm-hmm. also because why not um but that is anything else what am i missing about that we need to hit on mm-hmm. about naples port cruising I felt safer there than I did when I was in Rome. Mm. Okay. It's not overwhelming, right? Yes, it's, it's not as overwhelming. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I, I don't think that safer is the right word to use, but it, I was just like, oh, I could, I felt like I was wandering. I don't want to say like Mykonos wandering, but similar to Mykonos, like mm-hmm. where you could just wander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was a little bit more concerned wandering Rome in terms of like pickpockets and stuff like now again pickpockets not oh, that that doesn't happen in in Naples it still happens you it still happens in right. New York it happens it in happens Vegas you everywhere just have to be aware happens. you just yeah. have to be aware exactly but you also have to be aware whenever you're in Rome you're walking down this cute little cobblestone street like taking like a video and then all of a sudden a car comes down like a road that's like this big Flying. and you're just like oh, <laughs> motorcycles they oh have oh no gosh. rules there at all no, and no, everyone rents them. Yeah, and they could not pay me. And they, no, the it is so. I mean, even our tour guy was like, "Just be careful when you're crossing the streets for the yeah. motorcycles." And the streets are like not even two cars. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. you have to pull over and squeeze over to the wall. And if there's a person walking there, you just squeeze a little hard. You're the just wall. like, mm-hmm. yes, it is just crazy. And so it just, um, yeah, that's the only part that kind of made me mm-hmm. a little bit unsettling is just the awareness of the motorcycles everywhere and they just there there are no rules go. for them they just go i mean don't worry <laughs> about the true. tour bus that they're about to pass and a car coming the other way they just go right mm-hmm. in between and zoom, just, zoom, zoom. yeah that oh that was small heart attacks there but it's fine <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's <laughs> everything's fine <laughs> so. but but totally worth it. I definitely felt less of that in Naples than mm-hmm. in Rome. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure in Positano, Sorrento, you felt maybe even. Well, mm, again, there's no, maybe roads. not. No, we yeah. Are yeah. Roads, and so, and they're curvy and they're, you know, they're cobblestone-ish in certain areas. Mm-hmm. And so they, and you're going up the side of the mountain and you're going up and down hills that are blind curves yeah. and hairpin turns. And so, yeah, you just, I yeah. didn't. I was glad that we had a driver, and it was a very small car, and it was great. <laughs> it worked out yeah. Great. <laughs> but yeah, I would not rent a car there. Or suggest would you do the same thing if you went back? 
Would you do the same thing? Or yes, would you in fact, the same exact thing. In fact, so um, I, I think I've said this before. So like while when I'm traveling um, without my family, uh, Beanie, husband and mm -hmm. uh, boys, I kind of always think of like, how would, how, what would they like about this? Can I come back and mm -hmm. take them there? So literally in the middle of you know, where we're standing, right here i was like i would like to take you there maybe not for a whole day because i mean they don't really need to shop and whatever yeah but on yeah. this on the next one i would love to be in the water and seeing the coastline from the water mm, that's like what a, i think that they would like to do yeah like a a back and forth kind mm -hmm. of very thing yeah, like a boat going i think yeah. thinking of that and then i will want a longer time at pompeii i think they would really gravitate toward mm -hmm. that because they're i mean they're 15 and they're kind of into history and all that kind of stuff yeah. and i think mm -hmm. that would really it was just so, again, mind blowing for me how far we've come, but yet how advanced they wow. really were. Yeah. And I think I would that's like to show them that. Crazy. And um, that's kind of what I've been able to explain to clients too. Like you really could use two full days without feeling rushed. Mm -hmm. You could get it all done in one day. It's just going to be a really could... long day. Yeah. But right. um, to have more time, it'd be great. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm hoping we get to go back next summer or the summer yes. after. Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Susan, you said well, you would do the Amalfi yeah. Coast? Would you do yeah, I think I would do something coastal this time. Um, I mean, I loved seeing Pompeii. I'm a big fan of history, and it was pretty amazing to see. Um, but I would love to go see more of the coastal area, so go down that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. You too, Heather? Yeah. I'm not a Capri next yeah. time. He was, like, telling us about it, when we were, and he's like, and then you can take, and I was like, wait. Can we, can we go there? Okay, I want to go right now. I want to go right now. Now? 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 <laughs> Just take me now. Take me now. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Uh, FYI, it will be hot too if it's summertime. So just so okay. hot. Yeah. It, it was it's gonna hot. Be hot. We were there at the very end of October, maybe even early November. Mm -hmm. And it was still um, surprisingly hot. Mm -hmm. And there's no shade. If you're at Pompeii or you're hiking up, yeah. you know, towards the volcano or you're out there, the mm -hmm. hurricane, it is out there in the sun mm -hmm. and it's yep. going to be hot. Even if it's yes. not yeah. hot. <laughs> it's going to be it's pouring hot. the sun's on your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's hot. There is what? There is like a, like a little shadow being cast. Everyone's like, okay, let's go to the shadow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they did have, um, did y'all drink water from those? Springs. Water All the springs. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was so like, is this that, safe? Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, people were re refilling their water. But on that same note, we had, um, a, it was a tour, and um, there were two other lady, yeah. older ladies that were with us that could not pack it. So mm -hmm. they were, they were mm -hmm. just got to one section, and we were probably 45 minutes in to our three-hour tour. And so um, our tour director just kind of showed them and told them kind of where to meet us at the yeah. end because at the entrance there's a lot of shade there mm -hmm. there is next to those yes. shops and those little restaurants and so mm -hmm. they just met us mm -hmm. there but it really yeah. was i mean we're talking july um know, 12th or something like that that we were there so yeah. um it is it is something to be concerned about wearing light colors and you know fans or bringing lots of water um it's definitely i had a big wide brimmed hat mm -hmm. you know? yes yep yeah yep. to to help or umbrellas people were bringing umbrellas and using them as like sunshade mm -hmm. like there's no shame in that game do not mm -hmm. a lot of people will be doing it and you will be jealous of them if you don't have it yeah, <laughs> right. you will wish you did it so um yes. but of course yes. if you are interested in visiting any of these locations let yeah. us know we can help you get there so um if you want to contact one of these lovely ladies let's say start with susan yeah, so you can find me on Facebook at Susan's Great Escapes or uh, Instagram at Upon a Star Susan, or you can always email me at Susan at Upon a Star All right, how about you, Casey? So you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Casey Keeps Traveling and email me at Casey at Upon a .com. Fantastic. And how about Heather? You can find me at the Moana Mom on Facebook and Instagram, or you can email me, Heather at UponAStarTravel.com. And don't forget to follow us at UponAStarTravel.com, all the fun places. And um, yeah, all all the socials, and of course, our website, UponAStarTravel.com. Follow me at UponAStarJen. Uh, but you know, we are always grateful for all of our viewers joining us every week. And you know, tell your friends, tell your friends. Come. Come 
celebrate with us. Come party with us every week here on Travel with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been so much fun chatting with you ladies guys it's been so much fun talking to you our audience don't forget there's a whole new world of travel to discover we will see you real soon bye everybody